J -j -j -j, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com, your boy is back and I done did it again. Guys, today's topic is hey, what happened to Dreaded Dev's channel? It's gone! Free your body and your mind. <laughs> uh, so yeah, man, people have been asking me for some reason on my comments, people have been hitting me up on Instagram, people have been, you know. Hitting me up like, hey, what happened to the dread of death? His channel is gone. His Instagram is gone. His Twitter is gone. Patreon is gone. Everything is gone. So if you search right now, dread of death, okay, he still has his GitHub, which is good. Okay, that's that's great. Um, but basically, his Instagram gone. Uh, his YouTube. His channel is gone. This video is no longer available because of the uploader uh, has closed their YouTube account. So he's gone. Uh, let me see. Patreon is gone, etc. Right? So everything is gone. I don't know, guys. To be honest, I really don't know what happened to the kid. I don't know if maybe he got depressed because of you know his views and subscriber count started going down uh youtube pulled the plug you know he was getting a lot of views and subscribers really fast uh because of the youtube algorithm i told him ahead of time because it's the same thing that happened to me uh when i first came in i was getting a lot of subscribers and a lot of views really really quick um but then people started flagging my videos because i was cursing people started uh you know leaving crazy comments and giving a whole bunch of dislikes and a whole bunch of shit that was happening to me right that already happened to me and i told him that was gonna happen to him right um but i guess he didn't listen i don't know if he got depressed because of that his views went down subscribers went down etc um yeah me and him had like a little scuffle or online scuffle you know a little back and forth bullshit uh, you know stuff that happens on YouTube uh, basically because he said that I was trying to copy him when pretty much everything that he was trying to do I had already done <laughs> which didn't make sense but you know I guess that also took a shot at, at his channel once I released a video which was uh, just pointing out like hey man like i've been doing this for a while so everything you're trying to claim is pretty much false and i put the proof and the majority of the people in the industry and what industry the, the community <laughs> the community agree with with me um but you know he still has a a great channel that people like there was a lot of content in there that people liked and a lot of stuff that's helpful for people I don't know why he decided to delete his channel like i said i don't know if he got depressed because views and subscriber count went down once youtube pulled the plug i had nothing to do with that um and basically from there i don't know also too i don't know remember people telling me that he hadn't dropped a video in a long time i don't know so he was supposed to come back they didn't come back actually just deleted everything hopefully he's okay hopefully he's somewhere in a good space uh you know playing call of duty or some shit you know and just having fun with life right uh one of the things that i tell people all the time to be successful in youtube you got to be consistent just because your views go down or your subscriber count go down you can't give up i'm gonna show you guys something and this is for anybody that's thinking about joining uh youtube you know so if you go to socialblade.com, you can see my stats, right? And you can see when I first came in, I was just like, "Poof, on fire. And then from there, everything started going down, right? And then I continue doing my work, continue doing my work, and then it goes up. And then now, even now, it's going a little bit down. But that's the trend of YouTube. That's how YouTube works, right? You see right now, I'm, I'm getting like, what, like 2,000 subscribers, whatever my subscriber count is gonna drop and then because you're still consistent youtube is going to bring it up even higher than what you're getting right that's how youtube works you go up then you come down you go up then you come down you cannot give up you cannot just say oh man 
I, I'm giving up. I'm not doing this no more. Uh, you know, I can't take the comments. I know for a fact because things happen to me. Like, yo, it's hard sometimes getting all those crazy comments that people leave. Like, oh, you don't know this. Uh, using the N word for me. They'll be like, oh, you are da 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 N word and this and that. I'm like, man, why you gotta do that? <laughs> but it's the trolls. That's how it is. It's like, I have a whole bunch of good comments but there's always gonna be one comment that just you know it's just horrible or somebody talking shit about you or whatever that's how it is you're basically putting your face out here to the world to see it and basically they're gonna criticize it even though you do a lot of good work and do a lot of good stuff people are gonna hate on it people are gonna drop uh, crazy comments you know but it is what it is. You cannot give up. You got to be consistent. And I think that's what happened with Dread of Death. I, I think. You know, this is me just giving my personal opinion. I think because of his views being down, his subscribers being down, uh, the fact that, um, you know, some people were saying, oh, he's not a developer. He's just a content editor and this, this and that. He don't have enough experience, da, da, da. He could probably, you know, get upset and be like, yo, why am I going to be exposing myself out here online for people to talk shit about me? So he probably just left and, and decided, hey, I'm just going to quit YouTube. At the same time, you know, it, it, it's just hard, guys. It's hard to be dropping a video every single day. Plus also too, his type of content that he had so much cursing and so many crazy shit that he had on his channel that somebody might come in from his job and look at that and be like hey man you're not a good look for our company you know what i mean you're not a good look for the company um there's so many things that could could be happening you know so hopefully the kid continues and keeps doing what he do you know but yeah hopefully he he be good i wish nothing but the best for him and for you guys you know it's time to move on if he decides to come back either doing uh development or doing design or doing gaming or doing something else support the kid you know but at the same time if he doesn't want to come back and he don't want to be exposing himself to the internet then you know move on you know move on stop hitting me up asking me Hey man, what's the dread of death? Hey man, that you kidnap the dread of death. Hey man, that you go to the dread of death's house and and deleted his his, uh, his social media accounts. It's like I don't even know the guy, you know. And personally, I wouldn't even care enough to be like, hey man, da da da. You know, I'm doing this video for you guys, for anybody that's out there and is probably searching what happened to the dreaded death. I'm just actually just giving a little uh commentary on it right it could be like i said it could be something with his work it could be something that you know he just don't want to do it no more he don't want to be exposed to all the bad comments all the hate all the crazy shit that happens on youtube you know yes there's a lot of people that show us love but there's a lot of people that hate on youtube you know and also too for work reasons uh, his channel was a little bit too ratchet <laughs> Like there is a professional field. This is not uh, a gaming uh, community. This is not, um, I don't know. This is not some shit from the block. Like you can't be cursing. You can't be doing so much stuff that he was doing. And you know, certain comments that some people were saying like uh, sexist or some shit like that, misogynist, uh, whatever. That's what people were saying. So hopefully he's fine. He didn't get in trouble at work. He didn't, you know. He's doing good, okay? But yeah, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. And like I said, God bless the kid. Um, hopefully, he continues to prosper and doing whatever he does in this world. And if you see him out there, man, tell him I said what up. If you see him somewhere in Florida, you know, by, <laughs> by uh, Publix or something, <laughs> tell him I said what up, man. All right? Anyways, guys. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again. If you are a developer, if you are somebody who wants to become a developer, listen, the best place to go to and literally learn how to code by building real projects is going to codingphase.com. 
okay you come here you register you got to the courses there's a whole bunch of courses and yeah man take advantage you can sign up for the monthly pass which is crazy because you're getting over six hundred dollars worth of courses right for a single price per month you could do you know monthly twenty dollars per month you could go yearly 200 per year lifetime 600 or you could say hey man i'm gonna click the description below and you're gonna get 50 percent off when you click on any of the links on my description so automatically you click there and this becomes 10 this becomes 100 but this never changes sorry guys <laughs> lifetime access man it's forever but Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. This video is brought to you by codingface.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit a website. It's the only place where you're going to learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Keep it real. Keep it trill.